Maga and Xuxia here. Hi everyone. Hey, so don't laugh. This is my second video for YouTube to keep you entertained. We hope you're staying safe in your homes in these hard time, crazy times. Me and Xuxia decided to do a nice makeup look for you to stay home. <laughs> And be beautiful, <laughs> doesn't matter what. And to go to your kitchen or living room, you know, you have to be special. And um, yeah, we just decided to keep you entertained. And with a lot of feedback from you ladies, I'm going to show you the products that I'm using, um, how to apply them step by step, and just like, you know, to create something nice and have fun. <laughs> yeah, let's go. The first step I usually do, whether it's a everyday makeup, competition makeup, any makeup you want to do, you have to prepare your face. So the products lay nicely on them. What I do first, well, I have this magic spray from Guadeloupe Paris. It's a um, beauty elixir. Apparently, it makes you look good like a model. So <laughs> let's try. So close your eyes. And it smells so good. Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> like you are in a spa. Um, then I'm using this um, moisturizer. This one in particular is from Drunk Elephant. I have a lot of um, moisturizers. My personal favorite, like very lightweight, is from Tatcha. But I heard th that this one is also good. And I got this for free from Sephora because I buy a lot of makeup and I never really wear makeup. How about that? You can use a brush or you can use your hand to spread it around and moisturize your face. Feels good. Mm -hmm. Before starting also your makeup, you have to uh, prep your lips, which in this case I will use this uh, one from Fresh. It's a nice hydrating lip balm. Well, hydrate your lips while you're doing the rest of the makeup, okay? So then when you put the lipstick on, you have nice and plump lips. You're going to mess it up or like, you know, you're not confident about um, doing the makeup like nicely and clean. Start with the eyes first, leaving the face to moisturize even more. So this one is a brow liner for Murphy and the color is called Latte. I love a latte by the way, <laughs> every morning. No latte, no life. I'm in a, in a different team, <laughs> like a cappuccino. <laughs> same thing, yeah. I mean, same but yeah. Same but different. Well, cappuccino actually has more shots, no? Oh, I think it's different uh, with the milk. Uh, no, but latte is <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I never understood the difference between latte and cappuccino. Yeah, it's the same. Yeah, it tastes the same. Yeah, it looks different. Mm -hmm. Well, we all love coffee. <laughs> There's a funny story about coffee. So before every store stores started closing, I decided to go shopping <laughs> before everything else closes. So I went shopping. I bought some stuff. I was happy. Then I realized I'm running out of coffee. If every food store closes, I can survive. If I have no coffee, that's it. No coffee, no life. So I went to Nespresso and I actually robbed the store <laughs> until this is all over and now we feel positive and full energy. <laughs> Using a brow liner is actually slightly more easier than having the pomade or any other kind because first of all you have the line already so it's like easy to draw it for yourself and then it also has the brush so it helps to kind of brush it out so the brows don't look it's like fake ones but they look very um nice and filled kind of yeah what about shape what we can uh yeah say? so mm -hmm. shape um you would follow your own brow lines like you know if you feel like you do not have like enough brows to create that full look, it's still okay because you can follow here the thicker line and then just go up and then um, create the desired shape, which will make your face look, you know, nicer and um, will suit your face. We'll have uh, enough area here to work and it will just visually bring your eyes more higher. More open. Yeah, more mm -hmm. open and you will have this like lifted surgery <laughs> so we're done with the bra yeah looks the same to me if you want to like fix it later on that's fine because at some point you will be actually um maybe correcting here and there so next step i do is to brighten up the area and to kind of contour 
so it looks nice and defined. Uh, for this time, I'm using this uh, concealer from Dose of Colors. The color is 07, so it's called Light. If you want to use any like concealer around your eyes or like for contouring purposes, um, I would recommend going for a lighter color because it kind of has that nice contrast, creates it. And then you can always cover it up with yeah, the I have a special lighter than your um, foundation, yes? Yeah. Gonna be lighter than yes. your regular foundation. Okay, yeah. makes sense. Mm -hmm. So even sometimes if you buy lighter than your foundation, even your face, you can always uh, make it darker with a bronzer or you can just put foundation on top so it's gonna kind of cover. But it's good to have a bright one. So anyways, <laughs> like we're gonna go ahead and put it on her eyelid and before I actually do on the eyelid I'm going to define it first so then it's nice and clean so you want to make sure this bottom line is nice and straight and you can also do the top part I usually use this disposable um, sponge because then I can just use it and throw it away. You can spray it with a setting spray and start just smudging it and um, evening it up. We're making it like it's your real face. <laughs> I call this the massage um, time because the client is just relaxing and having a mini massage. Yeah. <laughs> Face massage. Sometimes if it's a um, makeup before the competition, clients can just leave because yes. normally it's very early. <laughs> yeah. I oh yes. This. Sometimes it can go crazy early. So that's where I tell them, just sit, relax, I'll wake you up when you need to wake up. So then for me, I like to start um, after setting all. Um, start first with the highlighter because we're giving that um, nice shine. So where you would want to put the highlighter is in the inner corner of your eye to kind of elongate your eye. And it's also nice because um, when the light hits, you kind of have this like glowy effect like mine right now and the more glowy you are the more healthier your face looks so always use the nice highlighter in the inner corners and on the high point of your eyelid this is good enough for right now then we're going to add more if we need to. This highlighter specifically is actually from Dose of Color. You can tell I love Dose of Color. Um, it's very nice and pigmented. Highlighter. I have many, this is just one of them. <laughs> Next step. We're going to do, I mean, there are many ways I do. So maybe right now I decided to do with a darker concealer to lift up the eye even more. And I'm going to continue even more out from the eyes, like going that way. Yep. I'm going to start blending it. So this is just like a buffing brush. It's usually for like either foundation or like a powder, but I know how to use the brush. So I'm going to just go ahead and use it for the eye because it's for blending purpose right now. So I don't mind. So visually, I elongated the eyes even more. It's called contouring. So it's now more even higher. Yep. Don't worry about like those um, imperfections because we're gonna clean it around before we do anything. Going to do the eyeshadows. I'm going to use 
is one color from this uh, eyeshadow. It's from Huda Beauty. The Nude Rich palette. And it's the first color here. Because it's like kind of nice and <clears throat> creamy, pinkish color. I'm going to just build a little bit of color there. So with this um, color, you want to use it on your full eyelid, the upper part, because it's the lighter color and you're kind of creating that canvas, like the space that you're going to work with. And obviously you start with the lighter color and, go, and then go dark. So the lighter colors should be usually on a like higher area. And then we're gonna make it slightly more darker as we go. And for the lighter color, you want to kind of um, blend it outward, like even more out than your eyebrow is. So that means you're elongating your eye. And then you also want to go towards the inner corner to kind of give that shape of a high eye also like so you have that nice arch there you still have the highlighter so you're not covering the highlighter just going so you leave this little triangle here and then going into your inner corner so let me finish this Now we have the lighter color on. Sometimes you can actually leave this color just like, you know, um, to have this just clean, nice look. However, I will add a little bit more like other brown shades to kind of have that contrast. So this is just like a random palette I bought like from a makeup store, Moira. Never used this brand, I don't even know what brand it is. I just love the colors. It's like a fun palette because it has highlighter, blush, and nice, um, what are these like frosty or like metallic colors also the matte ones so it's like a good collection i just loved it and i thought i would just buy it for fun my next color maybe in this case will be this it's called future it's like a light brown tone to kind of give a little bit of that because you want to have a nice deep look <laughs> every time you take a eyeshadow from the pot you always want to make sure you just do this section because uh the dust comes out but then you have the color because if you have all dust in there and then you just start blending it you're gonna have it all on your face so you don't want to do that just tap it and you have the remaining there this one is going to go where this area where the eye opens and closes there to create like a nice line so let's do that and in this case you can actually do it on the whole eye lid and just start blending it And again, brush it out and blend it towards the out corner. So here is how it looks right now. So you have some bright on the higher area and a little bit of dark on the eyelid. So then I will make it slightly more darker with like a darker brown shade. So in this case, maybe I can use the Finale, which is like kind of a nice dark brown. Not so much, just a little bit to kind of on the edge here to kind of give a little bit of more dark darker shade this one you don't have to take it out because this is the center so you want to just keep it in the center only the light colors you want to elongate the dark one you can just leave it in the area okay okay so next step so this is how it looks like so far if i want to make it just a little like more dramatic and showcase the eyes better i go ahead with like a thinner brush but you can see it and just try to dab it like literally where the eye line is there to kind of give that like nice and dark shade so let me do this just a very little where you would do your eyeliner usually so maybe for today i'm not going to use an eyeliner for ksusha because we're trying to achieve this you know somehow the natural look <laughs> which is not natural <laughs> But in the end, we look nice and flawless. So this kind of will 
make it up for the liner. Eyes are ready, still look nice, but with the whole thing, it's gonna look more natural. So I'm gonna start with the concealer again. You want to cover up the imperfections. If you have any pimples or like any scars mm -hmm. you wanna close. <laughs> I know, we're all perfect. <laughs> so yeah, specifically I go obviously under the eyes to kind of brighten it up. I create this little triangle. <laughs> And I'm gonna do the same thing here for right now. Remember, when doing contouring, so how that works, you want to keep the inside of the face light and then the darker side is going outside. So you have the contrast again, catching the light, having a nice and healthy look. If you want to achieve a nice and clean look, you wanna follow the contouring instructions. Do it. Here how you look, very <laughs> natural. <laughs> and smooth getting there <laughs> so next step I'm going to start with the foundation so for today I'm using the Tarte shape tape actually the one of the best actually concealers is also from Tarte tape shape I just ran out but this is a very good one this one here is called light neutral so it's like a very um, light color and there's one secret actually don't really buy your foundation too dark because you can always make it darker with your bronzer again so buy like exact color of your face or sometimes it can be lighter because then you can again build it up with your bronzer otherwise in the end if you buy dark and then you put some more dark products on you you're gonna end up like literally very suntanned you can also put some on your lips because you're kind of making it all neutral one color Looks very perfect. <laughs> so again, I'm gonna spray my brush and start spreading it around. Nice and even. Also, there's one big and nice <laughs> secret which I'm gonna tell you right now. So when you apply your foundation, you always want to make sure that you brush your brush, <laughs> brush your brush downwards. Because in this case, the foundation is not going into your like you know pores or anything, it's kind of smoothing it out. For the skincare, they say you always have to go upwards, but for foundation, you always want to go downwards. Don't forget, actually, to match the foundation color, like, you know, with the neck, so you can go a little bit more down, like this, to kind of make it same color. Otherwise, <laughs> you will have, like, a, let's say, darker face or lighter face and a darker neck, so it has to be matching. <laughs> Once the foundation is all spread around, go with a sponge and kind of set it again. Okay, then this lighting is actually really bright, but that's fine. So next I'm going to go with the darker concealer. I mean, I use concealer in this instance because it's lighter, but there are also like contouring uh, palettes, like cream palettes you can do the contouring with. But I choose in this time to use the concealer because it's more lighter, like lightweight, it's not creamy creamy. And I'm going to go ahead and contour the face. So for this one, you want to keep it on the higher points of the face, like out, outwards, and start contouring. So I did the cheekbones because you always want to make sure you have this nice cheekbone um, contour line. And then um, I'm going to line the jawline. 
because especially if you're going to um like i call it picture perfect space if you're going to be dancing and then obviously there are videographers and photographers like um taking pictures of you you want to make sure your face is ready for the lighting so therefore we're creating the contrast lighter inside darker outside um and i have my like secret tricks <laughs> so if you want to make your nose slightly more narrower or like you know a lot of things we do you want to do actually let's do this way um even if you don't have a like a wide or narrow nose but if you just want to make it nice and like you know defined all you have to do is just take a nice two line in the middle of your nose like that and then bring it up towards the eyebrow and then finish it off here okay so now we have the nose line <laughs> Just one secret for the ladies who love big lips or like when you see those like, you know, Instagram fashion influencers, like, you know, having those nice lips and stuff. And then some of them obviously do like those injections and stuff, which is fine. But if you want to create this natural illusion, you don't want to go to the doctor. <laughs> now we Here can't go from the... <laughs> Here comes the concealer. So by just lining it underneath your um, lip line, not on the lip but underneath the lip you are creating this nice lip look and now the illusion is your lips are slightly more bigger because we have that nice shade there it looks like your lip is just like <laughs> <laughs> and then you can do the same thing here to kind of um create that shadow of like a upper plant lip there you go so this is how it looks like there you go see she already has a natural botox <laughs> So we're kind of baking it at home. <laughs> so you're going to place 
stick it underneath the eye area in a big chunk. I'll show you how. Don't be afraid. <laughs> so we have one eye already baked <laughs> on the right. We're gonna do the next one. And don't be afraid to again bring it just like towards the out corner. We can do lighter here, just like to kind of set it up. And if we want to make the cheeks a little bit more defined, we're going to go, I'll show you here, underneath the line where we contoured and bring it towards the lip line. Yes, so now she has the <laughs> fish face. <laughs> I call this process the fish face. She does the fish face, <laughs> but I do the contour line by just baking. So I didn't really try so hard to do this like hardcore um, contour, but I'm still kind of trying to do it with the baking powder, which you can. So I'm going to leave it like this for right now. There you go. I want to do some here to get the shine out. Mm -hmm. We're going to let it bake. <laughs> meanwhile, meanwhile Ksusha is baking. <laughs> I'm going to um, yeah, let's do mascara. Um, I don't think I want to use lashes for today because yeah, we're good. Necessary. Yeah. So this one is like um, from Too Faced. It's called Damn Girl. <laughs> <laughs> you want to put the lashes on and be like, Damn Girl. So if I'm doing it for someone else, I usually ask them to just look straight and don't really think. So so next step, we're going to do the lips. Uh, what color lips would you like today? Mm. Like you're into the pink. Pinkish like mine? Yeah. So my one, actually, this is one of my favorite lipsticks. It's from Dose of Colors. It's called Bear With Me. Again, if you want to have this natural plump lip look that feels like you have a filler or Botox, like, you know, that doesn't have to be that look, but that nice full look, you get this one. I've been using this since I came to America, and it's already, what, three years, three mm -hmm. and a half? My favorite. It's called Bear With Me. If you want to go and buy, they usually sell this in Ulta Beauty, but you can also check their website out. There's one more secret that I'm so proud about. So the creator of this cosmetic line is Armenian. Yeah! <laughs> when I have some Armenians creating something genius, oh God, I will have to be using that. So I'm so proud and that is why I, I mean, it's not just because I'm proud that I buy this, but like, it's one of the best lipsticks. Like, they have everything. So go check that out. First, I'm going to use a liner to kind of define the lip. Um, I'm gonna use the same liner I used for me. So this one is from Becca. Um, it's called Pouty. Pouty. I don't even know how you say that, but it's like this nice, um, nice natural pinky tone that is gonna keep your natural lip color. Hi, I'm Dolce Gabbana here. Say hi, Dolce. Say <laughs> hi to the camera. Hello. <laughs> He's very smart, though. He speaks, <laughs> speaks, understands English first, and then Armenian, and, and then Russian. <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> He's the real designer of the house. Okay, I told you. <laughs> Good point. So when lining your lips, if you want to make it more, again, slightly bigger or like, you know, nice and plump, you can overdraw your lips, but not so much. Like, don't think about like overdrawing it. But like, let's say you have the natural line. You want to go slightly more, like just a little bit more higher especially when it's like a lighter color, it's gonna create that nice, lifted, natural, plump look. But since Ksusha has like a nice lips, <laughs> we don't want to over, over draw. So this is how it looks like. Yeah, I was tried uh, for the competitions um, to do it with the red color. Mm -hmm. And I think it's a little bit too, too much. much. Yes, yeah. I think it's more for the natural uh, yes. colors. Mm -hmm. Dolce? <laughs> I like it too. I'm that yes, that's right. Okay, you guys don't need that much makeup. Okay, Dolce, go. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so next I'm going to go with this color, magic. the holy magic color. So it's a matte lipstick. Um, I don't really go in this motion because I still want to keep it nice and light. So what I do usually, I go tap, tap, tap. If you need some parts, you know, just the light, like brushing. And it just smells so good. Yeah? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it smells like candy, mm -hmm. kind of. 
shopping I mean I usually go and I can't now but that's fine like we just decided we want to kill some time and since I started my youtube channel <laughs> create a nice content for it and just like you know have fun we're girls so ladies my usual ladies <laughs> who follow me and watch me and always ask me a lot of you know questions about makeup i don't know if you're a dancer about tan i will actually do another video about tanning yeah because it's very um like popular question i get asked like a lot and i have some picture perfect like tanning moments so maybe my next video will be about that because since summer is coming you want to look nice and glowed but also if you're a competitive lady like you dance in a ballroom competitions you will know the step-by-step step and the products that I use to look good on the dance floor. But anyways, um, what should we say? So yeah. that's it. Just Hope stay you safe. enjoy. <laughs> yes. Stay safe. Yeah, stay safe. Yeah. And be happy. I mean, it's time to relax, be happy and maybe to do things what you was wish to do, but you never has a time for this. Exactly. And I think now it's, it's time. time yes to learn something to try something new 
and just you know to open your self from the different uh, side what maybe you didn't know about yourself exactly <laughs> I never knew I could become a YouTuber. <laughs> there you go. Uh -oh. This is the invitation to barbecue. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> We're coming. <laughs> so yes, ladies and gentlemen, we know it's a crazy time. We know that, you know, we obviously have to stay home because even if you don't get sick or if you catch it and then you are still okay, you might be dangerous for someone else. So the, the more we stay home, the quicker we will be like, you know, able to go out. However, find the positive like part of this, like Ksusha said, take the time, do some gardening, like, I don't know, do flowers, summer is coming and like I mean I watch YouTube videos all day long because you can actually find and learn a lot of things from there like from makeup to hair I the how know. to cook maybe exactly if, yeah or like I love walking closets mm -hmm. oh my god you can't imagine how much I watch those things like just find something that you're interested in or you would love to learn or like you never knew you could do or like you always wanted but never had the chance just go and do it like the TikTok. I just yeah. <laughs> learned how to do the hip hop thing. Yeah. Also, it's a lot of uh, online dance lessons now. And if you, for example, want to follow me and you know my way of the dancing, please welcome. Just let me know. Or maybe we should do next one, just like a dance lady styling thing together. Yeah, we can. <laughs> That's another thing. Well, we will figure this out and keep you updated, ladies, just to have fun together. And then once we're out, we're ready to kill this. <laughs> so anyways, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I actually did. And we'll see you in the next video and the next time. Bye.